Setting up the development environment acts as a barrier for developers contributing to new projects. Countless hours are lost installing packages, fighting obscure error messages, and dealing with versioning issues. This makes it very challenging for developers to move from one team to another and can sometimes completely block being able to have a developer contribute across different teams. Let's see how Codespaces can help resolve all of this. Codespaces is built on top of containers. If I open up my dev container folder here, step one is we're going to define our container. This is done with a normal Docker file. I can identify what I want to make up this container. I can execute different scripts and also use Docker Compose as needed. Step two is I define how I want the IDE to behave. In my case, I'm going to focus in on VS Code. You'll notice I can identify different settings and I can even identify different extensions. So now I've ensured that all of the packages and underlying environment that my developer needs, uh, that my developer needs are properly configured and set up and that their IDE has all of the appropriate extensions, tools, plugins that are needed as well. The last big thing that's typically needed for a project is going to be the environment variables to connect up to all of those different dev services. So I can add those secrets in right here by putting in the appropriate keys and values. So rather than having to share out .m files across the team, I can define them once right here. Lastly, to help improve the performance of spinning this up the first time, I can go into Codespaces and create a pre-build. This allows me to set up an image based on a particular branch, determine when that's going to be updated, what regions that is going to be available in, and now go ahead and create it. This first create will take about five minutes or so. So I'll put a cut right here with our pre-build created this is what it looks like for my developer. They go into the repository, hit the drop down under code, and then say create code space on main. This will now go grab that pre built image, set up a copy, and then begin getting everything configured. This is going to set up that image for me running up in the cloud and it will connect to it using Visual Studio code inside of my browser. So my developer is going to have the full experience of Visual Studio code right here without having to install any special tools and without even needing anything special machine-wise. They could go ahead and run this on a tablet. Once this finishes connecting here, what we're going to see is on my extensions, it's installing not just the extensions that we listed, but all of the extensions that I personally have set up with my account to go ahead and sync. It saves all of my settings. For example, I like the workbench over here on the right hand side. So that way I have a consistent experience across all of my different code spaces. Like I mentioned, this will include all of the extensions and the settings that were set up as part of the code space. And once all of that is done, I can now go in and start editing whatever files it is that I might need as appropriate. And I can do this without having to battle through that setup process. If you want to learn more about Codespaces, you can check out that URL down below. You can also find me basically anywhere on social media. I'm at Geek Trainer.